and three and two and one. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to another episode of The Devil Made Me Do It. The excuses we make for white male murderers. Now, oh. Atlanta shooter Robert Long blames his action on sex addiction. Sex addic addiction. Excuse me. You see the word "dick" is in there. I just don't even understand it. Addiction. Uh, here, here's why the narrative is problematic, right? So we have mourners visiting the site of two shootings at spas across. The street from one another and there's only a picture of one spa so i'm not really going to get into that but on tuesday night authorities reported that the mass shooter had gone on a rampage in atlanta area so atlanta is what percentage of atlanta is uh uh melanated indians that are classified as negroes and blacks what percentage is that this shooter he targeted three massage parlors and spas in the same in in the process the shooter robert long killed eight people including six asian women and the other two ethnicities aren't going to be named the news was met by an outpouring of grief on social media tuesday with many placing the shooting in the context of the now remember placing the shooting in the context escalating rates of anti-asian american violence so the real Americans can't be called Americans, but foreigners coming from a different place can be called Asian American. Isn't that sweet? You can be listed as black. You don't exist, right? That's how they treat Indian. That's how they treat the real Indians here. Over the past year, in the wake of the pandemic, but in the press conference earlier that day, law enforcement officials from the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office attempted to dispute that the attack was a hate crime. That's not their fucking job. That's the lawyer's job. See, this is the problem with society. People that came here as fucking slaves have overthrown the slave master excuse me, they were freed by Lincoln, and then they overthrew individual cities because they weren't satisfied with the outcome. These are called insurrections. I talk about them all the time. Just Google white slaves book and you'll see who the real slave master is, right? So press conference, they want to dispute the attack as a hate crime. That's not their fucking job. Their job is to report what has happened and what they can do to prevent it the next time. Where is anybody from this so-called white community? Because we live in the United States of non-color, black and white. Black and white are non-colors. Let me show you real quick because we have an idiot system because slaves taught us to be foolish so that they could stay on top. See how it won't play? But it will play any other time. Just a good old boy. Okay, we'll just do non colors. Now it wants to work. We'll go definition. And they change what I want to write because they don't want it to be safe. Non colors, black and white. We live in a, does this title say white? And this guy's not white. He's caucus. He's caucus. Does that say white? He's not, he's not white. He's, he's caucus. Black and white are non colors. Why do we put in color of description a fucking non-color? These are distinct from red, blue, yellow. Lego says we only make people in, we only make toys in one color, yellow. These are yellow people. These are yellow caucus people. The fierce, right? The fierce continents, the, the continents, the facial look of anger. What, is it, what do you look like when you get mad? When you turn red, right? 
So the police decided that they were lawyers today and they wanted to argue that it's not a hate crime, which it clearly comes off as they're protecting the young thug. Drawing widespread ire on social media and inadvertently demonstrating the lengths to which people of this country, the slaves brought in, will go to justify, they're not justifying, they're lying and saying murder is okay, or even excuse the reprehensible, reprehensible actions of a yellow Caucasian male, particularly one whose victims were marginalized members of society. It's early, but he does claim that it's not racially motivated. People can claim anything they want, but it's about what happens in court. So it doesn't matter what Captain Jay Baker says, because he's been proven to be a racist too. And I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Because Captain J was caught on Facebook. Of course, that's where you would do it because everybody else gets in trouble on Facebook wearing anti-Asian shirts. But now they're very comfortable with this person coming forward. And again, what percentage is the ethnicity of Atlanta? How do you have a Caucasian that came here as a guest? How do you have him as a police officer? These are rude guests. Rude guests. I have this book. I have this book. You don't understand what's going on. You clicked on the wrong channel, the wrong video. Captain J of the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office said, of the shootings during the March 17th press conference, he apparently had an issue. Oh, what he considers a sex addiction. Well, what is this? Sex in massage parlors and sees these locations, the massage parlors, as something that allows him to go, what? As something that allows him to go to these places? They're public place. I, there's no point in raising my voice for this. This public, that's like saying, Oh, there's a football game. That's a public event. I'm sexually frustrated now. I, I mean, what what kind of shit is this? This this is the typical comments that would be said if they took an Indian that they call Negro or Black and talked against him in the public. This is the opposite because this is talking for the killer. He had an issue. He considers, huh, a sex addiction. He sees these locations as evil, right? So when the white man, excuse me, the Caucasian went down and shot all those Mexicans, dear God, he saw that grocery store as fucking evil. It's a temptation for him, like fucking chocolate. Do you see anybody killing goddamn children on fucking candy bar house? Do you see anybody going to fucking, hmm, who is that place? Hershey, Pennsylvania, and detonating any goddamn thing because of the temptation. Do you see anybody going to condom facilities and fucking shooting those places up because they make condoms and the temptation. I'll make this very clear were sexual prostitutes murdered between the buildings. When you go from one building to the other building, it's a long drive. It's a 30, huh? 30 miles away. Do you pass prostitutes on the way? Do you shoot the prostitutes on the way because they're tempting too? Or are you saying that you are only sexually tempted by Asians? That's your thing, right? And then you decided, I'm gonna tell you at the end what happened. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Lex Wheels grab bag, what exactly probably I'm gonna tell you what exactly happened. This is very easy. It's it's is is easy for me to say I'm guessing, but I already know in my heart this is pretty much true. I don't care what they're gonna come out and say later. No 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 no. This is going to be easy. <clears throat> but I gotta prove some stuff first. It's a temptation that he wanted to eliminate. So why didn't he just go shoot everybody with a vagina? 
So it is a sexist crime. And it's actually a fucking hate crime because he killed women? I'd love to hear bald-ass Jay explain this shit. Hey, Bob, why'd that guy kill those women? Oh, they had vaginas. Yeah. Okay, Jay Baker later attempted to shed some more light on the shooter's motivations. Well, why don't we just ask the shooter instead of asking somebody else to fucking talk for him? Hey, Jay, did you lube your hand and stick it up his ass and make his mouth move? No. Jay's just making up his own fucking playbook. Jay's playing lawyer. And Jay's trying to set a defense for this caucus trash. I'm sorry. If I murder six people that have, uh, that don't even know I'm coming from, aren't I trash? Yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. Yesterday was a bad day for me. I got a tooth. It's an abscess. But I didn't fucking kill anybody. I think that the dental system is racist. I didn't fucking kill anybody. I bet the murderer of this is a poor bastard who's got a bunch of fillings in his teeth, but I bet all his fillings are white. I bet they used epoxy for his fillings and not the metal. Yeah, I believe that. Because the dental interest industry is racist. It's important to note that there's a good reason for Long to lie about his motivations. Well, of course, hate crimes tend to carry with them a more aggressive charge, like killing women and lengthier sentences. He's going to be executed. That, 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 there shouldn't even... Think about the people we fucking execute in this world. Think about how many times you said, I'll kill that person for taking that. I'll kill that person for doing that. These people did absolutely nothing to this fucking guy. I think they did, actually. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring that up right at the end. I'm going to tell you what I think happened. And again, I am a silly bastard that thinks, I know who my dad is, my parents were married, I'm not a bastard. I think I know exactly what happened. All right, so this gives him plenty of incentive to play down the racial aspects of the attack. Dude, you killed six people, you're still fucking going away for life. If, if they let you out, I myself will be there the day you fucking get out. But by telling media, the attack did not appear to be racially motivated, right? Wow, little caucus lies. I mean, white lies. I mean, whatever. These are just fucking liars, right? So, Baker intentionally or not erased the complex and interlocking issue of racism and misogyny that could exist in the heart of the attack. Further, by emphasizing the victim's alleged attempt uh, alleged attempted, uh, excuse me, allegedly tempted the shooter. Law enforcement uh, officials made the women complicit to perpetrating what they are referred to as the shooter's sex addiction, which is in itself an extremely controversial and medical dubious diagnosis. Oh, he's a sick little little caucus boy, but he was he was not sick when he went and purchased those guns. He was not sick when he went and visited those parlor shops for sex before. Oh, why would he have a sexual problem if he's fucking what? Killing people at parlor shops? I want you to massage my, um, uh. So what happened? Because this article is not going to hold my attention. It's just going to be bullshit. So what happened? Well, let's get into it. Now, we got... When a massage parlor bans you. Oh, shit! Take your picture! He don't come here no more! You nasty! Get out! Get out! Get out! Your money no good! What did you do, caucus? What did you do? Did they take your picture? and pass it around to all the other massage parlors and say, don't give him no play, he no good. And money no good. 
Mm, what, they, what, they, what did you do to them? Before this, that they put your picture up and said, you can't come here no more. I'm not a fucking idiot. I tell people all the time, I'm not that smart. Everybody knows I'm smart as fuck. When you go to three whore houses and shoot up all the whores, well, <laughs> I would imagine it's because they said you can't come and play there no more. Okay, so let me jump down here. Let's say massage parlors in California. Okay, employees accused of prostitution in parlor bus. Massage parlor in California, massaging the law, the rise of illicit parlors in SoCal. Sunny California, sunny California, right, where the sun sets, right? Massage parlors, California, more massage parlors popping up in California. Damn straight. Parlor bus! Do, 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 do. Now, there is your image of 10 uh, Asian women. This is exactly what just happened. These 10 got busted. These six got murdered. You understand what's going on as a viewer? 29 Palms, California, massage parlor, liquor stores, and barber shops. And what is he going to talk about? He's going to talk about exactly what goes on in those parlor shops. Nail salon, tattoo shops, massage parlors in California allowed to reopen during. Okay. I tell, I tell you over here, they got an a, a, a article that said London whorehouses are allowed to open. This is the same fucking thing. They're just not saying whorehouse. Illicit. Hmm? Massage parlors, one of the city's solutions, have turned into another city's problem. So they kicked them out of one city and they what? Went to another city? So, are massage parlors whorehouses? Hmm. What a deep question. So let's do the same thing in Atlanta. Oh, no, wait. You can't do the same thing in Atlanta because a murder has happened and you cannot see if people have been saying. All these massage parlors are just whorehouses. All these videos have to do with this murder. Hmm? One day ago, one day ago. When do you fucking type in a title and you go, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't say nothing about, right? Let's see. Prostitution. In Atlanta. I'm just going to. New study shows the scope of illegal massage parlors and human trafficking in Atlanta. That was a year ago. Right? Arrest made in massage parlor prostitution bus. Huh? You understand what's going on? You understand what's going on? He went to a, a whore house and shot up three whore houses. They know these are whore houses. They busted these goddamn women before. Why are they not in the news talking about this from that perspective? They're trying to hide this perspective? You mean to tell me their massage parlor's been here for years? You mean to tell me there's somebody that hasn't told anybody else? You can get some junk at a massage parlor. I don't understand. I don't understand. So many caucus lies. So many, okay, little white lies, right? This is about everybody in the system going for the system. Look at what they're doing. If you get gunned down, they will make some shit up. They'll just make some shit up. And they're making shit up to protect this dude because he shot prostitutes. Yeah, that's what happened. Bob, I need I need your help. I went through this massage parlor that banned me. They had my picture on four different shops. I can only get to three. A crime against all of us. No, it's not. They ain't do a fucking thing to me. The crime against all of us is lying in the news. The crime against all of us is the public servant that's supposed to be a police officer's pulls be a sheriff or deputy sheriff. he's up here trying to play lawyer when a massage parlor brand bans you okay
where street prostitutes kill it in Atlanta. So when he drove from one place to another, he, since he was tempted by pussy, did he start shooting pussy on the way? Did he take the time to point his, his, his pistol at street prostitutes? Hmm? Hey, is, is it so bad to ask these questions? I'm not a citizen. I'm an American. Hmm? Here's what we need to know about the Metro Spa shit. We don't even know shit. It should say pussy therapy on that fucking sign. This should say what we should know about the prostitutes gunned down in Atlanta. These are all lies. These are all lies. Here's your shooter. Who goes to all these massage parlors paying for pussy. And now, assumably, when they banded him, no more you. Here's what happens. You think he spent his stimulus money? Awesome, 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 Wang Chung. Hmm. The spokesman for the police, right? Captain J. Baker, right? And we'll just type in. All right. So, it's not going to come up. We'll find it later. Jay Baker has been criticized because the cop who said the shooter had a bad day previously posted a racist shirt blaming Asians. Blaming China. So, here's your public servant with his political messages on Facebook. Already saying, well, because of COVID-19, hey, dude, the whole fucking world's locked down. You think China did this? We have a U.S. patent for COVID. You think China did this? Caucus did this! And you, and you pick Chinese people to blame. Okay. Did caucus people hire him at the facility? Did Huh? Did caucus people let him leave with the disease and take it back to, right? Did caucus people make this disease inside of a government facility? Y'all full of shit. You're fucking murderers. You came to steal, kill, and destroy and defend the killers. This is Christianity. Cherokee County parlor victims. Oh, they didn't want to show the names. But somebody came up with the names. Here we go. Eight victims. 33-year-old Asian woman. Delinia. 54-year-old Paul Andre Michaels of Atlanta. So he was visiting the shop. That's his last motherfucking visit. Hope you didn't have a family, bro. 49-year-old Ziao Julie. 44-year-old Deug Feng. And his age, oh, there it is, it's backwards. You see, why would everybody's name be listed, but his is backwards? He's a survivor, right? El Cies Hernandez Ortiz. Hmm? Two victims in the Cherokee County are Asian women, one of them the owner of Young's Asian Massage. Do you see anything say Young's? No, he was... That, that was what he was selling. Young. He was the owner. This is prostitution. He was selling young prostitutes. Like early 20s type shit, right? That, that's why, that's got to be why he named it Young. Right? So, Hernandez was shot in the parking lot. Right! Were you coming or going? Uh-oh. All right, so... And here's the survivor. 
The names of the victims of the spa off Piedmont Road in Atlanta are not yet released. The police have said that all four of the victims were Asian women. Two of the Cherokee County victims are also Asian women. Three of the victims were found at Gold Spa, the fourth victim at Aromatherapy. Put Putty Cat Therapy Spa across the street. Authorities say they arrested 21-year-old Robert Long. Now, how many people that are not white have a story about, I went to a massage parlor and they turned me down because because I was I was melanated. I was a person of color. I was, I was an Indian that they call Negro or they call Black. How many did they turn you down? They didn't turn this guy down and he, this is his, huh? This is this is his bad day, right? Cherokee Sheriff's Office said Long's been charged with four counts of murder, one count of aggravated assault. The Atlanta Police Department has also charged Long with four counts of murder. Oh boy! Atlanta Mayor Keisha Bottoms. No, we're not talking about prostitution, and she fucking name is Bottoms. Uh, Atlanta police and Cherokee County office and Atlanta patrol held the news conference Wednesday. Cherokee County Sheriff Frank Reynolds said Long told investigators he had a sexual addiction. He had frequented all three businesses before. See, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't read this far yet. There's my evidence. Now, why didn't he go in there and enjoy himself this time? Was he broke? Did he not get his stimulus check? Or did they have a picture on the wall saying he cannot come back anymore? Long allegedly told the investigators that he blames massage parlors for providing an outlet for his addiction. What about prostitutes on the street? Again, if you don't see this this excuse as ridiculous, then you you know you deserve to be at the next par parlor. <sighs> providing an outlet for addiction. So. When a drug user goes and kills a drug dealer, but he takes the drugs, he just wasn't strong enough to say, no, I only wanted to kill uh, the outlet, I, 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 but my, my addiction got the better of me, so I, I just I took the drugs. He wanted to eliminate the temptation. These people have been eliminating Anything that they would call a temptation or a competition for a century. They're not the slave masters. They're using your last name. All the stories of your ancestors telling you, don't, they told us not to call ourselves Indians or they would kill us. They told, it's all right here in these books these people are evil this is not saying every person is evil you can see exactly who is evil once they do their deed doesn't matter if he shot one person this one lied for him i've got nothing to do with the situation but i think that no you're lying for him you're protecting him because he is the same ethnicity as you, and you have what? R r racial condensation for what? The, the, the people that he killed? You have a, a commitment? Georgia sheriff spokesman appeared to promote racial shirt. China! So this is why, what? Cap Captain Cracker showed his yellow face. For his yellow comrade who shot down Asian women. He couldn't wait till the building was empty. He couldn't come at 5 a.m. and set it on fire. Well, you don't have a facility now. No, that's how his ancestors work. This bold, brazen piece of trash openly fired and killed customers and prostitutes. So what do you fucking say about this man that died, Mr. Michaels? Did Mr. Michaels give you a fucking pussy? Did you fuck Mr. Michaels? Did you say, I don't want to fuck Mr. Michaels anymore, so I'm going to kill him with these women? You're just a fucking murderer. Being protected by what? By fucking murderers.
what percentage of Cherokee County is Indian? What, what, lied on and called Negro and Black. Brainwashed to believe they're Blacks and Negroes. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a little bit of time before it's you. And I'm doing your eulogy. It won't be long. Massage parlors are modern whore houses. Massage parlor or a brothel, illegal brothels disguised as massage parlors in many countries. Oh boy. Brothel. Bordillo. See his dill, dill, right? Right? Pickle, penis, right? Whore house. Uh huh. However, for legal or cultural reasons, Asian, they call themselves massage parlors, bars, strip clubs, and body rub parlors. Study finds more than 9,000 brothels masquerading as legitimate businesses. There it says it right there. I just took a guess, but it does say legitimate businesses. Massage parlors, brothels. Massage parlor. When I sit here and say horror this and horror that, I don't know those women. I just know where they worked. Think about this, people. They arrested a shooter after publicly saying somebody killed eight people, and you knew nothing about the shooter. But good old white Bob came out here and said, oh, he's just having a fucking bad day. Does that mean you're going to release him so he can have more bad days on everybody? There's no way I blame every caucus for the actions of two races. Again, when this one comes out and starts saying, oh, I'm going to I'm going to set a defense for him right here in the news. He needs to be on uh, on trial, too. He needs stripped of that badge. Those people, whatever they did, were still citizens of a community. And they did nothing. He shot two massage parlors right across the street, from, and then he drove 30 miles and did the same thing. Don't let your fucking kids ever shake these people's hands. They're hiding behind badges to strip you of your natural rights to the land. They're fucking guests. Unwanted guests. Because again, look at the actions that are happening. Now you got all these books. Guess who wrote these books? White people. Caucus people wrote books telling you that caucus people were slaves. If I type in Don Jordan and Michael Walsh, what do you think it's going to say? Hmm? John Jordan. So there's his book, White Slaves. Right? It's a white man telling you the fucking truth. I'm not mad at him. He didn't fucking kill anybody, and he sure didn't come on fucking camera trying to clean up somebody's foul act of hate. What's the other guy's name? Michael Walsh. Let's see what Michael Walsh looks like. There's Michael Walsh, huh? Boy, this is getting bad fast. Let's see. Is it white gold? What was it? White cargo. We live in a white and black society. White cargo. That's the same Michael Walsh and Don Jordan. 
White people told you the fucking truth. Charles Sumner. Charles Sumner, right? Senator of Massachusetts, writer. Did it say his book? White slavery in the barbary, right? In the barbary states. The barbarianism of slavery. The caucus people are the barbarians. So barbarians are writing that slavery was barbaric. Hmm? Simon Webb. Author. There you go. Forgotten slave trade. Simon Webb, author, a white man, telling you the truth about fucking slavery. White slaves, act, uh, African masters. Who wrote this? Paul Bapler. Bapler. How do you even spell that? B A E P A E P L E R I N whatever. Author of White Slaves, come on, show me his picture. Don't play with my emotions. Well, he's a ghostwriter. He he hit his face. Right on. Oh look. This is a forgotten slave trade, right? What is this? Slaves of what? Of Islam. So you're enslaved in Islam. Here's cargo, right? Britain's white slaves in America. So the I'm from Europe as a slave. You were brought as into America. The slave ships they told you they came from Africa. Right? The White Slave, Fanny Howe, the heartbreaking novel of Peter, a man with a missing past and a captive future get the fuck out of here people stop 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 listening to anything these people say all right they, they, they have a system that's they have a corrupt system they have a system that they corrupted that is the best way to say it hey return to the ten commandments keep yourself safe keep yourself sane Isolate yourself. Shalom.